isn't nearly as big as the actual Sky Dome. Wait a minute! Did he predict the phone? Same one and just... Whoa! Oh! That's scarier! Way scarier! Yo! Oh, that is so cool! Yo! Oh my... Hey everyone, it's here, friend, Think Noodles, and welcome to another video about Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. We've already beaten it, we've already hacked it, and now it's time to hold these animators and creators accountable to see if they were even close on their predictions for things like this with meeting with catnap and other gameplay and jump scares and see how they compare to the originals. We did this for Garden of Ban Ban a little while ago, and it turned out that Pretty much all of the animations for Garden of Bad Bad, uh, the fan-made animations, were better than the actual jump scares uh, in the game. So let's see if it's the case here. I don't know, man, because uh, Mob Games knows how to do jump scares and also has an amazing uh, animation team uh, for uh, when you're meeting things like Catnap, the movements and everything. So we'll start with this one. Uh, oh, I forgot to like it. There we go. Let's see what chapter three meeting with catnap is. So this right here. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. This. Now look, look right here. Now you might think, okay, he copied it. No, actually, this was a month ago. You can't lie about this. This was uploaded December 13th. This is accurate to what we saw in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 uh, when we got through, well, the tutorial and got to where the train was. This is how it looked with the fire and everything. Uh, the only the only difference is he's got a yellow hand and a green hand. It should be blue and green, but otherwise quite close. Uh, and okay, I mean there was that thing on the side. It was a little bit more crashed and uh, messed up, but I did say that it reminded me of Project Playtime, and this is what it looks like. So this is going into the play care. So that's not exactly how we got in there. And Okay, so I think he's being chased. I think that's what the music is and why he's freaking out so much. Uh, this looks a lot more like Chapter 1 assets than uh, Chapter 3. Chapter 3 was really, really, really run down. And this is getting dark now, dude. You don't got a flashlight. That's something they missed. There he is. All right. No, show us. No, 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 no. Look at Catnap, please. Bro, no, we didn't. There. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We're going to go back for a second here. Hold on, hold on. So let's get our look at what he thought Catnap would look like. And wait, I thought I saw teeth. Yeah. So Catnap doesn't have teeth. He uh, he lost them when he was a kitten, uh, chewing I don't know chewing on chewing on human bones. Uh, yeah. So his mouth actually has no teeth, but this is pretty accurate. Besides the teeth, I don't know. Jump in. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's Kissy Missy, and not only that, they got this. This is the, this is like the elevators, like uh, the Garden of Ban Ban style elevators. We used this, this a few times in uh, chapter three. They got that right. I mean, obviously they're going to get Kissy Missy right. It's good that we managed and, to find you. Okay, so that's supposed to be Poppy talking. Uh, yeah, that's definitely. what happened on the train. I was caught by one of these smiling critters, the dog day. They wanted to deliver me to catnap. Okay. But gladly Kissy was nearby and heard me screaming. She saved me. Yep. Thanks to her. Now straight to the plan. We need to find Prototype. Kill him and free the uncorrupted critters that were tortured by him. Also, the flower must be somewhere in Prototype's den. I need it as well. The path will be hard, so we need to prepare. Catnap's breath will make you unconscious in an instant. Okay, so let's just stop it right there because she said a whole bunch of things. Uh, so first of all, Catnap's breath will make us unconscious in an instant. That's not exactly true. It will kill us if we're not wearing the gas mask. Uh, and if we're exposed to it for too long, we enter that dream sequence. I also believe that in the game itself, she called it red smoke and not Catnap's breath. But uh, what she did say is that the prototype, we must kill him, which if you want and I hope you did, watched the entire video for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. She says that at the end, in that final speech, that the prototype has to die for everything that he has done. Now, uh, I'm not sure that he actually tortured the smiling critters. Uh, they worked together in the hour of joy to kill all the people. He dragged 
all of the bodies down to feed the smiling critters, which is now why uh, Dog Day and the smiling critters worship him, uh, just like Catnap worships the prototype. He kept them alive. So you need a protective gas mask. Okay, that's right, there though. There are probably few left from playtime workers down there. Okay. That was actually really good considering it came out um, almost six weeks before the actual game. All right, let's go to his uh, gameplay two. Okay, right here is where we left off. It's halfway through this video. I guess they combine them together. That's fine. Uh, here we go. Next thing is to withstand prototype attacks. You need okay. An upgraded mech no. grab pack, an Not. experimental solution from Playtime. Okay. I don't know where exactly it is, so you're gonna search abandoned tunnels. Okay. And the last thing, I'm not coming with you. Kissy That's and I will occupy true. security post and help you with navigation a bit. Okay. Once you've entered Playcare, we won't be able to communicate. So good luck. And remember, find the flower. Find the flower. Yeah, she says that. I mean, we, we I don't know that she ever says that, but it's written there. Okay, so this is play care. So this is, well, the, the animator's version of play care. Let's see how big it is. The Sky Dome. I mean, I think he grabbed a lot of this from just the teaser images that, uh, that we had seen from the preview and the trailer. So far, that looks really, really close. Now, this isn't nearly as big as the actual Sky Dome. Wait a minute! Did he predict the phone? Greg, I mean, <laughs> I want to call it Gregory every single time, but no, Ollie. He predicted Ollie? What? Wait a Hello? second. Are you there? Listen, the main electricity went out a month ago, so only emergency generator is working. To get into the house, you will need to restart the electric circuit in the basement and solve the puzzle pillar. How do they know all this? Good luck. This is unbelievable. Like, I mean, okay, I'm going to go back and we're going to look at the Steam page and see if there's anything about a phone. Uh, because, and, and a kid, like, g guiding you. Because that's literally Ollie. And it's talking about generators in the basement and powering them up. Like, bro, how did... <laughs> This must be a developer, right? Is a developer like pretending to be a YouTube animator? And he's like, I don't know. Okay, that's from Project Playtime. That's way off. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. But see, it's just like I said, it's an animator. He's just trying to throw us off the set, you see? <laughs> okay, is this just gonna. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, wait. Oh, the cat map. Okay. Whoa! Dude! Cat map was gigantic. All right, here we go on number three. I mean, so far, so much of this is accurate. I am very, very impressed. Obviously, this giant cat map, not so accurate. Look at the teeth, though. It's scary. And this is a lot darker than the actual Sky Dome was. Even when the power went out, it was, it was brighter than this. All right. Oh, okay. I guess we're going in. Well, that's empty. Are you just hiding? Cause oh, okay. Ah, oh, this looks this look kind of looks like okay. So I wonder if the huggy wuggy like uh chase scene was no, it wasn't right. That wasn't released yet. Yeah, wait, yes it nah, maybe because that might be where he got that from the walls. Okay, obviously this is a normal asset from uh, Poppy Playtime. Okay, that's like the easiest puzzle in the whole world. You didn't even have to wrap anything. Okay. Uh, something's gonna happen. Oh, another. This is really easy. Wait, but that. This is power, and then this one. That one is. Okay, so they're both powered now? Why? Oh, okay. They got the. Oh, did you unlock the gas mask? Wait, oh. Yo, this kind of looks like, let's see. Oh, it's just a hallway, but it kind of looks like the track that we went down when uh, Elliot Ludwig was, you know, telling us about Playcare, the, the ride down. It is kind of like that hallway area. Now, uh, the mask, like showing the inside of the mask, it definitely didn't. It just showed like a vignette. 
Oh yeah, okay. Now this they definitely got from either the screenshots or the trailer. This looks uh, exactly like it, it w but you know that the walls aren't as well themed as the actual play chair. Oh no! Oh, I did not like that. Like, I mean, like, look, I mean, I like the animation, but I don't like the dog crying. That makes me sad. All right, this is his last one here, so let's, uh, let's have a look. Oh, the poor thing. Who's there? What? Hey, okay. you, come here. I need your help. That My is. Savior, please take these cups off. I'll okay, that not a good voice. <laughs> Dog day. Now, obviously, he's strung up because we knew uh, in the in one of the trailers or some of the uh, the preview images that he was gonna be uh, tied up like this. But um, yeah, the voice not not great. I'll give you a high five. You give me a high five. So what? We just take off? Why didn't we help him? He well, I mean, we okay. You can't open those in the actual game. Those ones don't open. There's Poppy, but. but uh, wait, why is there a treasure chest? What did you get? What did you get? What was that? Okay, I think he's gonna... Oh, he is gonna take him down. But, like, so... Uh, you in, came back. In nice. this one... You okay. thought I would help you. It was a key. Look around. There's nothing sane left. We all follow someone twisted plan. I will gnaw you to the bone. I will gnaw you to the bone. And then he chases us through the plate. Whoa, he, lo <laughs> he looks hilarious. Now, this is actually really accurate on uh, on how he was chasing us and how he had to find the right way to go. It's not showing us the little smiling critters chasing as well. We couldn't have known that, but uh, knowing that we were in this and... Okay, we know where we come out, too. But uh, I, what's interesting now is it says to be continued, but he made this two days ago. Now that the actual game is out, like... What do we think he's gonna do? Just like merge it with a real gameplay? But I will say, highly accurate to, in almost all cases, that was really, really good. Uh, so, holding your feet to the fire, but you came out unscathed. So Buggy Huggy nailed it. Uh, let's see about Matya Games and what his catnap chase sequence concept. Okay, this looks legitimate. Uh, okay. Yep. And then. Uh huh. Okay, so the the wires are different. Remember, we had like that blue wire running. Whoa, dude. Okay. Uh oh. See now this. See, this is what I wanted, okay? Like, I wanted a chase scene like this. Like the, oh wow, this is really good. This is what I wanted at the end of the game. It's the one thing I felt was missing from the game was a final chase sequence. We already had a few. Uh, we had the Huggy Wuggy one, we had the Dog Day one. I wanted it from Catnap as well. I, I just love the chase scenes and, uh, and this actually scratched that itch. I wish it was actual gameplay. But here's another one. Before the game came out seven days ago, so it's not out yet, so he had to guess on all this. Let's see what he was able to come up with here. So this looks really good. Okay, the push to open part, I don't know, but... Uh, and yeah, this is way more detailed. Oh, Theodore! Okay, so that's Catnap. Oh! Okay. Rambell is a young boy who gained powers that are beyond his abilities. He turned into a terrifying cat-like monster that hides in the shadows. His giant, terrifying grinning mouth, sharp claws, and empty, soulless eyes. Oh! And his name is Catnap. Yo! That is so cool! Yo! Oh my goodness! The jump scare is so good! Wow! Okay, so, uh, like, I, just, like, real quick here. Like, I don't know that he could have known. I mean, obviously, he didn't know the, that Huggy Wuggy comes out of the TV. Nobody knew that. We knew the chase scene. We didn't know that he comes out of the TV. But this is, like, just like, uh, well, I mean, except for it's, it's Catnap's face. But it's just like the part where we saw Huggy Wuggy in that training video where Huggy Wuggy comes out of the TV. I thought he was going to come out of the TV here. But, dude, this is so good. Like, oh, I want to see it again. His and his name, name is, is Catnap. Catnap. Well, his name is. I'm here. Yeah, dude. Dang. That's 
good. Really good. I mean, I thought the Ban Ban ones were good uh, compared to the actual Ban Ban ones, the fan maids. These are on another level, dude. Okay, okay, this was like back December 1st uh, from the same creator, Matya Games, and uh, he's got all jump scares for Catnap. Let's see uh, if... Well, we, we saw... Okay, he's up there. Okay, man. They are really scary. Now, no one, well, he so far hasn't, or neither of them, have predicted, you can die later, have predicted the skeletal one. Okay, and in that one, he, he breathes the red smoke on you, which mm, he doesn't do. Still, though, like the shaking and everything, and the, and uh, this isn't about you. So, wait, is it always the same one? It's just, whoa! I like that one. I, I would love to see the gameplay leading up to that. Just jumping at you like that? Ah, uh, I, I hope like Mob Games watches these fan maids just so like when they do chapter four, they can like come up with ideas for maybe uh, future jump scares because those are really good. Uh, this is over a month ago. So all jump scares of the smiling critters. Now they do jump scare you. I'm not actually sure we ever saw one in either of my playthroughs. Uh, the little guys do get... No, we did. One definitely got me when we were pushing those cubes. Oh, actually, wait, it's the same person. Look, uh, they made. They actually made what we're doing here. All new original versus fan-made mini smiling critters. S jump scares. So he's he's versusing them himself. So let's, let's do it. Okay, so Catnap and Crafty Core and Dog Day. So I wonder if he's just comparing them directly. This would be great. He did the work for us. So Catnap. So this is real, right? Yep, catnap. Okay, it's it's not very. Okay, so this was his. So he didn't put the volume up, and his is better because he just made it louder. Okay, crafty corn. Okay, they just sort of grab you, pull you, push you, and then pull you, right? And oh, that's scarier, way scarier. But again, I don't know if it's just the sound effect that they're using or or what. Are, is he trying to get jump scared? I hope so, because like, he's not doing. Okay, yeah. Okay, that was that was Dog Day, which. Uh, okay, yeah, he looks way more. Okay, that that one was far away. Who else we got? We got. Wait, where's where's kicking chicken, man? We need to see the chicken. Chicken. Okay, and then you got kicking chicken in here. Oh no, that's not kicking chicken. That's the but wait the rabbit uh, Hopscotch bunny. Okay. There's kicking chicken. I didn't even notice that because it was so fast before so here's kicking chicken again Okay and Bubba Bubba Finn Ooh, that the the trunk like slaps you. Oh There he is. Oh my goodness Yeah, and see how static he is it, uh, and where's Bobby bear hug is that oh no, this is a uh, picky piggy I feel like he eats you. Oh, that was his. So that was his. His eye. His, yeah, way scarier. But so here's the thing. Like with with like catnap, right? The, so let, we'll just use that as an example, right? Catnap, the smiling critter itself, uh, like being like dirty and like parts like breaking off of him and, and tears and stuff. That part is scarier. Uh, but the actual jump scare. Actually, it might be scary if it was louder because that looks terrifying uh, compared to like that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, with the string coming out and like different parts of like his stuffing coming out. I think that's scarier. Uh, maybe if the screen shook a little more, it was a little louder, that might do it. All right, now this one is all of the jump scares in chapter one through three from the actual game. So now we've seen a ton of fan made. Let's just compare all of the jump scares and just see what we think. Back to chapter one. Now I don't know, okay, so, oh my goodness. This chapter one, dude. Okay, come on, take it from the hub. Yeah, that was, that one's bad. Oh, so he's doing it in every different, oh, because each scene is different. Wait, what, that, wait a minute, oh. Oh, oh no, poor Huggy. I thought you died. I thought he actually killed himself there, that he fell through as well. I, I've seen this before. There, there's no jump scare here. You opened my case. It's not a jump scare. That's just Poppy. Listen, 
I'm going to need you to trust me. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I see what it's doing. Oh, yeah. The Bunzo jump scare, which took me like, I don't know. I played chapter two like eight times before. I was like, oh, yeah. I got to let him catch me. <laughs> it takes forever. Not a scary jump scare. Oh. Now, I, yeah, I was going to say, I saw this one quite a few times. Is he going to do every color? I think he is. Here comes green, or is that yellow? Yellow. <laughs> um, I died quite a few times in this. This was actually really hard with the lighting. Uh, there's green. Any other colors? <laughs> They're all going to be about the same, just a different color. Fur. Red. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? You, like, brightened it up. It's weird. Okay. Wow, that was super weird. Okay, PJ Pugapillar, I definitely died to him. Now, you know what's interesting? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back real quick. So, um, his head sort of pops off. This isn't fan-made, right? Where did his head go? Boop. It goes away. Like, it just disappears. Because, and you might think, oh, his head's turned down. No. Like, you can see the legs are connected to this part of the body. Like, it just... Look, there. It comes back, and then it disappears again. See? There he is, biting you, licking you, and then his head just from one scene to the next, gone. It's not a very good jump scare. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. That scared me. I remember that. Oh, I loved this animation when we first saw it. I, it's, I still do. We're going to play one last game. Yeah. And they got, like, her fingers look like the Huggy Wuggy TV Nightmare Huggy ones. Don't they? The fingers, how long they are? It's almost like he inherited Five, them. Oh, we're gonna four, let her die. Three, or we're gonna die from two. her. Jeez. Welcome. Yeah, here we go. Perfectly queued up. And look, look at the fingers. Whoa. Wait, you didn't. Okay, you were way too close to the TV to really enjoy that. Uh oh god, Miss Delight. I hate you so much. Hers is scary. Um this is like FNAF level scary. Oh, this is after. Oh no, this is before the update, because she moved in the dark, even though he was looking at her. Or moved in the light, even though he was looking at her, right? Oh, you're gonna take it again? Or, oh, wait, why did you- you didn't pull the lever. Okay. There we go. Okay, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be rapid succession. He's trying each one. Dog day! Yeah. I wonder- who's the scariest one? In my opinion... Ooh, I like Bobby Bearhug's scream. I think Bobby Bearhug has the best scream, but then Bubba Bubba Fint, I think, has the best visual. What? Oh, we gotta get Picky Piggy. <laughs> Forgot you, buddy. Come on. Come on, Piggy. Yeah, his is, like, the sound isn't even that great. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't notice that one going into his eye before, because I was too busy running. See, like, ah, oh, you gotta give it more. We want to see. Okay, well, we've seen it enough. Oh yeah, that was scary. That got me every. Well, I played it through twice now. Both times, it still got me. It's just unexpected. You get the mask on. You're trying hard to see, and then, uh, now, yep. Now I think. Now I know I. Yeah, you know what's weird? I don't know why. Right? Like. Uh, and maybe it has to do with the lore, and I just don't understand it, but... It, he is this, like, nightmare version. But when he jumps you, right? He comes in with the with the long mouth and the skeletal body. And, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe... See, and then he switches. So, like, he switches into a normal... See? Bop, 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 bop. Right? And maybe it's just his gas, right? Like, his gas is making us see this and be afraid of this. And then... When he actually kills you, he's just the semi-plush version. Um, but I don't know. Wait, what are you... Bro, you're... you're okay. Right. Well, he's not gonna get you here. <laughs> he shot through there. Okay, and then... He can kill you in here. Okay, he's gonna let himself die. Yeah, and see, same thing. And then here... Oh, okay. Oh. That's not gonna be a jump scare. You already did the thing. It's over. We're just gonna see the prototype here. 
right? That's not really a jump scare at all. You just killed him. There he is. Unless you can... Oh, I was gonna say, unless you can run up and get get skewered by the prototype yourself. Oh, I feel... You know, I feel bad for Catnap here. Like, I know we were fighting him the whole time, but he's just like... I accept this. And then... Oh, you just feel bad for him. And you can see the green hand on it. I didn't realize you could. So he... So maybe... So... That's interesting, actually, now that I think about it. Um, the fact is that when we... Now, he, the green hand is actually on his body before uh, before we actually hit him. Um, or, wait, is it? No, I don't know because I didn't pause it. Uh, the green hand is there because we actually lose our hand. I didn't realize that when I was in that hacking video. But we do lose our hand even though it's in our inventory. We don't get to keep it. Uh, which means, I think in Chapter 4... That mechanic is going to be eliminated unless we can get another green hand. Because yeah, it's it's gone, and yeah, there it is. All right, <laughs> uh, I think that I think both are really good. I think both the fan made ones and the originals are really good. It's not one better than the other. I think uh, both Mob Games and the animators uh, did an incredible job on all of them, and in some cases, were able to guess what was actually happening or going to happen in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3.